story time I gotta get ready for work so that's what we're gonna do today I just I have to leave to work right now I just came back to film this intro and yeah I gotta go bye <laughs> hello hi welcome back to my channel I guess I'm not really like an up there youtuber or whatever I just like to post videos of whatever I feel like, you know? Long story short, I gotta hurry up. I'm doing a get ready with me um, to go to work. I almost forgot what the fuck I was getting ready for. I'm in like a rush today. Um, I already like concealed my face. I haven't done my eyebrows or anything like that. I'm going to finish up. I'm gonna do my eyebrows, my baby hairs, um, do a little inner corner because I usually don't put eyeshadow on. I just do like a little inner corner thing, put highlight on, pop some lashes on, curl my hair when I get to work. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I have like 45 minutes, so let's see if we can do it. <laughs> I already have my foundation and stuff on or the CC cream, the concealer. Um, I don't really do get ready with me's. Um, I'm not very good at describing what I'm using, you know, but I do have a story time about the time I accidentally was on TV. Um, yeah, it was like a little prank show type thing. And yeah, I guess I can just tell you the story. I'm so cringe sometimes, but it is okay. It is okay. Okay. So where do I begin let's start by talking about how I even found this gig or how it started okay this is how it started it started because my ass was jobless okay can you believe it like me jobless I was looking for a gig job whatever my ass was on Craigslist you feel me probably not the best place I found a gig on Craigslist. Oops, wrong powder. <laughs> I found a gigs on Craigslist to make science fair signs for the Northeastern University of Illinois. I think any N I E U you i don't know but to do that i forgot like the pay rate or whatever but obviously it was good enough for me to find a ride all the way over there and do this gig just to make science fair signs for a fucking science fair at a college like i didn't even know colleges still have science fairs to be honest but that's not the point point is i took the job I do that a lot. I am so sorry, Leo. Um, my bad. Damn. <laughs> so I go to their little office that's like on Michigan Avenue because you know we're from Chicago here. The day arrives to go to the university and do the job. So I go. I don't even remember how I got there. I'm pretty sure I took an Uber. Um, I was actually doing it with one of my friends named Tialia. Hi, Tialia. I still remember this day with you. One of my friends came with me. She ended up on the show, too. So that was fun. And we were both like, I I'll explain. I'll explain. I met her. I met Tialia up there. Um, and yeah, we were just like drawing science fair signs for like the first hour. I'm going to get done with this story time before I even finish my makeup. I'm supposed to like prolong this story. So yeah, I met her up there. I was doing bomb on that science fair sign. Let me tell you, girl, my creativity juices was flowing, okay? You know, my little creative ass. You know, I got my little acknowledgement from the little teacher, the little, the little supervisor or whatever. I was in that bitch, popping signs left and right, okay? My shit was up there. So boom, I was making these signs, right? My shit was popping or whatever. And then they bring us, well, they bring me separately. I'm gonna be using my ColourPop palette, the green one. Oh, hi. 
you seen that okay anyways i'm gonna be using the green one that's like my favorite color from this palette it's like the only color i've used hi leo so yeah we're gonna pop that on my inner corner because green is the color of money and we need to go make some motherfucking money okay so manifesting through our makeup they bring uh i'm not sure who they grabbed first to be honest but um they took us into like the chemistry lab or whatever so we can help clean like the beakers and um all the other like glasses and stuff that they use and yeah so they had me put on the the um what you would call those glasses them science goggles so that chemicals or whatever what are you That's Leo for you. Yup, that's that's Leo for you. I love him. That's my bibbit. So uh, they make me throw on these goggles, tie my hair up. I look crazy. I look fucking crazy. Anyway, so they make us tie. Well, they make me because where they take us separately into these into the chemistry labs and shit like that. Obviously, because it's a fucking TV show, they don't want us to know, and they're all like undercover or whatever. So they give me like a little towel. They give me a a, a lab coat, the glasses. I tie my hair up. They give me gloves. I think I was wearing gloves. I'm not sure. I doubt it. But I'm gonna include the footage of me on this TV show. At the end okay so I'm cleaning the beakers and this dude comes in he's supposed to be like the chemistry teacher some shit like that but this man got veneers in okay and I'm not stupid my daddy told me always be observing okay also I never been in the classroom with a fucking mirror in it so like what the fuck like are you would you think I'm stupid like you in Chicago like <laughs> So I peeped the mirror, peeped his veneers. I'm like, this dude is way too like clean put together to be a fucking university teacher. I don't know how much professors make, so my lips look really disgustingly small without lip liner. I didn't even say the name of this TV show. It was the Carbonaro Effect. I was on the Carbonaro Effect. I guess this guy is like a scientist magician. I don't even know his name, to be honest. I had never even heard of the show until I was on it and I feel bad saying that because like I think I I'm, it might be a good show I don't know it's a good show because I'm on it <laughs> I forgot to do my eyebrows the dude started talking the Carbonaro effect guy I don't even know his name I feel so bad but thank you for having me on your show he started like uh I was like cleaning the beakers and stuff right I wasn't even it was like five minutes I was in the room before he started doing his little magic tricks or whatever he pulled out this stuff in like a bag you know like the bags that you get like your like your quads in and like your halves like that size bag you know the little zip up and you know, I'm like what you doing what you pulling out sir like, I'm just kidding he but he did pull out one of those size bags that you do get that stuff in okay he pulled out this like yellow small like this size stress ball looking thing so he's talking to me about this ball right and I'm like I was saying I, I'm not like the most approachable if i'm there to do a job i'm that you know that's what i'm there for i'm not gonna be like hey what's up be so talkative you know but i'm not mean either give me a second give me a second sorry leo is rude so yeah he starts talking to me i know he's like telling me some facts about this yellow ball about like how nasa astronauts are using certain like packaged foods like that that you can do something with and it'll be good like because you know astronauts have very limited resources out in space and shit like that so they need food that like comes in a package and all that business you know so he's telling me about that stuff this man turns around and mind you, like I said, I'm very observant. Not to say that I'm not stupid, but I ain't stupid, you feel me? I'm very observant. When he turns around, I look at the only mirror that's in the classroom. And like I said, I never been in a classroom with a mirror before, so that was weird to me. 
So I, he turned around, I looked at the mirror, I'm like, what the fuck is you doing? Like, what did what you turn around for, you know? He grabbed something, like, underneath the table, like, he had something underneath the table because the mirror, I looked at it, and he's, like, standing, so, okay, say this is the table, he's standing towards it, and underneath it, he, like, grabs something, switches it out, and then, like, goes like this and turns back around, okay? And I'm like... I think that he turns around and he pulls out after he you know does the little switch thing he turns around and pulls out a fucking twinkie this man turned around and pulls out a fucking twinkie out of the yellow ball that he originally pulled out from the bag and i'm like what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck is that so he started telling me facts about this astronaut food right and tells me like this twinkie is one of them and I'm like, oh, cool, astronaut food. Like, wow, it tastes so real. Like, this came from a bag. Wow. And, um, you know, as he's talking or whatever, and I said that he's telling me facts, he fucking tells me that this shit is made out of latex. And when I show you these clips, you're going to see, I'm like, bitch, what? I'll snatch them veneers right out your motherfucking gun. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but you can see it in my face. I was like, what? Like, you got me eating latex, bro. Like, and he was, and then he explains himself, tells me that he has, like, a hostess cupcake that we could go eat next. And I'm like, um, I'm good. I think I'm good. That happens. And so he goes out to get, like, the hostess thing, and that's pretty much, like, how it ends, to be honest. People are sending me video like, hey, this is you. Like, hey, I seen you on TV, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what? And so they send me the video. And yeah, I go watch it myself. And for some reason, they got me on like the extras. I'm not like on an actual public episode. I'm on the episode where it had like that you purchase on the app and you know see extra um footage or whatever so i'm that extra footage i'm like the special footage or whatever i'm not even lying to you i think it says it on the bottom of the thing but um after i pop on these lashes i will show you guys the footage that i have i don't have the whole footage because i didn't want to pay for the app <laughs> And I was only going to watch it one time to screen record it. I'm sorry. So um, I had to look through my Instagram story time. I mean, Instagram stories to find the footage that I posted when I found out. But it shows my reaction and stuff that I'm telling you about. So that's all that matters. Um, I might as well just show you the footage while I go put on my lashes. So enjoy that. And I will be right back. And you can still have something as delicate as a yellow sponge cream cake. Mm. So that's what they're doing now, is they're analyzing polyfoam, which is made from latex. Mom, what? I'm eating latex? Technically, yes, you're eating latex. But it's latex has gone through a chemical change. Wow. OK, so this is the finished look. Um, I gotta leave now. I hope you guys enjoyed my story time slash fake get ready with me. Um, my baby hairs are not on 10 today, but we still got a little look going on. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that business. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. And I gotta go to work. I'm gonna be late. So bye. Say,